Hello, this is Cristiano from Bright Minded, and in this short video I would like to show a practical example of SSH tunneling, something that may come up in real life. Suppose my team and I were developing a WordPress site for Shield. This site is very complex, requiring loads of WordPress plugins, custom post types and so on. So it would be ideal if we were each able to work on the code on our local machines, but we all share the single database. Why? So that if any of my teammates write some code that requires a new plugin and maybe some changes to existing custom post types, I will not get a nasty surprise when I incorporate this code with mine. Any modification to the data is immediately available to me because we are all using the same database. Now, this database resides on a secure server, not exposed to the outside world, but my team and I all have SSH access to it. So this is what I'm going to do. First, I configure my local version of the WordPress site with the database details. And here they are. The database name, the username and the password are the correct details for the database and the remote server, but note the host name here. It is pointing to my local machine on port 3307. With this configuration, my local version of the WordPress site will try and connect to port 3307 of my local machine. Now let's see what happens if I look at this site now. There we go. Boom! An error. Uh, this is to be expected, of course, because there is no database running on my local machine on port 3307. So the next step is to actually create the tunnel. And what I've done, I've created a little file called tunnelsh, which looks like this. Now, for details about this, please look at the uh, uh, previous video. But what this essentially is saying is that any requests that arrive to this machine at port 3307, please encrypt and forward to the shield remote server at port 3306. Now, let's dig this tunnel by running the script and see what happens. Now, note, you won't see any output, but the tunnel is actually running. Let's retry this. And bingo, I'm in, excellent. So my team and I can all work nicely and securely with a shared database. Note though, that one drawback of using the tunnel is that my local version of the site will be a bit slower than normal because of the added overhead. You know, encrypting the request, forwarding it, decrypting it at the other end, encrypting the response, etc. Thanks for watching.